Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the basic concepts of VPN. That what exactly VPN is and what are different types of VPN and which one is preferred nowadays. So first thing is like what is the full form of VPN? So VPN stands for virtual private network, right? So let me write it for you. Virtual private network. So this is a very important thing that why we call it as in a private, though we are using it in the internet, but still it is private network, right? So it gives you a feeling that this is in a private network. Let us suppose you are using your laptop here, right? And uh, you are connected to the internet. And uh, there is a server of your company which is hosted somewhere here, right? And now you are accessing that website here or any of the services of your company. And that is hosted somewhere inside a private network. But if you try to access it via the internet, right? This is an internet, but it's still you get a feeling that you are just connected to the, your private network and all the information what is being communicated from here to there that is traveling safe and secure. Any user inside the internet cannot access it, right? So one of the thing which is our MPLS VPN, right? So what it was happening that that MPLS was dependent on the service provider. So let's focus here that whatever was the service provider here, let us suppose uh, Bharti Airtel here, right? Bharti. Now Bharti was responsible for segregating the traffic for company a and a company B. So what they do, they make different VRF like VRF B for company B and VRF A for company A. Now what is happening? That traffic of company B here will be traveling through the ISP, but it will be delivered to the VRF. Similarly, for the user of company A will be delivered to the company A. The information is traveling by ISP, but because of the different VRF, it will be delivered only to the specific company. So that's how the traffic is segregated from one of the company to the another one. So this is basically called as an MPLS VPN. The drawback of this MPLS VPN is there is a no encryption. And uh, this is a huge drawback because this network is very dangerous and uh, people throughout the network are good guys and bad guys, right? So there can be hacker here, right? And now he can access the information here, what is traveling inside the network. Though our ISP gives a guarantee that it will be safe and secure, but still because there is no encryption, it can be accessed through the network. Now it comes our Site to site VPN. Basically, I should say as an IPsec VPN. IPsec. So, this is basically what we are going to do. We are going to make, let us suppose there is a one company A. And the similar one of the branch of company A is here. And if they are connected through the internet, this is our internet. 
then what they are going to do when the company a sends a traffic to the there is two ways either they can lay out a fiber directly to the company a because they are having the branches here to there but this is going to be very costly so as this is very costly they cannot not they in fact most of the companies if you have an alternate option it's not a good idea to invest too much on just on infra rather than focusing on the business so what they do they take a lease line connection from this here they take a lease line to the internet now it goes to the isp it's the responsibility of isp to route through different criteria because they are having the different ways to deliver it can travel like this any of the mesh topology and anyhow they maintain the serviceability and uh, they guarantee that i will provide the service the but more pro problem was privacy that there was no guarantee that uh, the information is being shared via isp is safe and secure and now they deliver it here what we do we install a firewall here or some of the routers are also providing these of information we do encryption here we encrypt all the information what is traveling through this isp and all encrypted traffic is traveling through this network now if any of the attacker access it here or they capture it via wireshark or any other packet sniffing tools they cannot get that information because that is encrypted and they need an decryption key in order to read that information they cannot read it that is not at all possible at this in, in this era it can be like uh, after 20 years or 50 years that can be some technology we can do it but right now there is a no way we cannot decrypt it without encryption uh, decryption key so now our information is safe and it is traveling to this place here on the firewall because this is of the same company we are having the decryption key we decrypt it here and then we send it to the information because this is our inf infra our environment we know this is safe here same thing is when the information traveling is in this way it is encrypting and decrypted here and we are having the decryption key so this is the concept of site to site vpn and uh, nowadays we are having the concept of remote access let me change the color now we are having the concept of remote access in case of remote access there are two ways either we can use in a client like we install a client in our machine and that is connected to the any of the gateway in your company's environment this client will be connected let us suppose you are using the uh, Palo Alto then in that case we use the global protect that is the client we install on the laptops and this global global protect is having the gateway ip and on that gateway ip this is the gateway ip will be landing here and we try connecting it via the access credentials we enter the credentials and we are connected so this type of uh, uh, vpn that is also type of ipsec another type of remote access is our ssl vpn uh, that can let me write it here ssl vpn so this is basically everything is happening on the browser we form a tunnel via the ssl we see the lock symbol here it is encrypted and everything is happening all the tools you are accessing but there are some drawbacks you cannot give get the feeling like your machine is connected to the corporate environment and when you are using this client vpn then it's like your machine is connected to the global or not in fact global your uh, company network and you just get the privilege as you are connected to the LAN port so in this course on the next session i will be configuring ipsec i will be give a deep dive on the ipsec vpn first the terminologies 
like what are the different algorithms, symmetric, asymmetric algorithm and all. We will get a deep dive on that one and then we will try to configure it on the Palo Alto firewall. We make an IPsec tunnel between two firewalls here too. Yeah. So keep with me, stay tuned and uh, I will explain what are the technology behind it and how basically they work. All right, guys. See you soon in the next session.